Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arlene. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe down below. I have a lot of fun videos planned out. But for today's video, I'm going to share my Christmas wish list. I know it sounds kind of weird. It almost sounds like I'm like wishing for all these things. But honestly, I am so, so happy with everything I have. I do not expect any of these things. Um, it's just like fun to wish for things and these are probably things that I would buy myself in the future throughout the year Since there's no way I would be able to afford all of this in like one shopping trip So I'm gonna share all the things that I'm loving I do also have a Christmas gift guide if you guys want to check that out um, Those are things that I bought that I'm going to give to friends or family or whoever I have like some of these things laid out right here That's why I'm looking over there, but um, yeah, I will list that video down below if you guys have not seen it And if you guys want more ideas but this video is going to be the things that I am wishing for and eyeing and I've had tabs open in my computer like wanting these things and like putting them in my cart and then being like no don't buy it you have more than enough shoes and more than enough clothes um, but yeah let's start so I have everything written down on my phone I'm not going to really go in any particular order just because I don't know I thought it'd be fun to kind of just mix things up so I'm going to start with this Zara lapel collar coat it is $69.90 and they do have it in gray and black and I honestly don't know which one I like more. Initially I kind of thought I liked the gray more and then I realized, wait, black goes with everything and yeah, I don't know, I love both of them. I actually saw these in store and the day I saw them I fell in love with them and it was going to be one of those impulse buys. But it is a little pricier, especially for a kind of like a more casual coat, but it's like a casual dressy coat. And I tried it on, I loved it, and my sister convinced me out of it. She was like, you don't need that. It looks so simple for 70 bucks. But she's wrong. I have been wanting it, and I still want to go back and get it. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but it's so beautiful. The trim on it is so pretty. The fit of it, the fact that it's like casual, but kind of dressy. I can literally just throw it on, and it's perfect for Southern California weather. I freaking love that. Moving on, of course, I have to include a pair of booties. Um, I've been eyeing these for the past few weeks since like right before Black Friday. I was hoping that they would go on sale. They didn't go on sale and that's why I have not bought them because honestly it's one of those things where I do not need more boots, but I always want more boots. So these are the Topshop, uh, Topshop? Topshop Leopard Print Booties. They have them at Nordstrom and they're $135. Um, I just love the pointed toe on them. The print on them is so pretty. You guys know I've been obsessed with like leopard print coats and leopard print everything. For a while, I just always feel like it's pretty timeless. So these booties I feel like would be the perfect statement booty and yeah, I wish I could have those. Moving on, I have two items on the more affordable side and they are the Key Australia sunglasses. There's uh, two um, pairs or two frames that I have been eyeing for the past few weeks. I almost kind of collect Key sunglasses just because they are a little more affordable and they are like a good quality sunglass. I almost feel like I should sign up for Ditto. So many people have been doing it and I've had the opportunity to sign up with them and I really honestly should. Ditto is where you can get like um, designer sunglasses sent to your door every single month. I'm not even signed up with them yet but I do plan on doing it soon because honestly I have this sunglass obsession and I'll only wear them for like a few weeks and then I realize that I need like another pair. So anyways, um, these ones are in the style Cherry Bomb that I found on sale at a for only $37 as opposed to $53 and then there's also the game on they're in the flat lens and it's with the ones with the blue shade I have this thing for like a blue lens on it and these are only $42.50 as opposed to $61 so ASOS always has really good sales I actually ordered a few pairs that are coming in the mail I've been like checking my door every single day but they have not come in yet but those are another two pairs that I really like moving on to something that's kind of silly for me just because I have not smelt any of these perfumes, it's the new MAC perfumes. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but I have been seeing them all over Snapchat. A lot of people have received them or have purchased them. And basically, MAC came out with uh, perfumes that match like all of their top selling lipsticks. So I haven't smelled any of them. I really should head to the store before I tell you guys which one I would really want. I'm assuming one of them is going to smell really good because honestly, I do like um, the other MAC perfumes that are available, MAC Turquatic, I think is what it was called. I used to be obsessed with that scent, but I've just gotten tired of it, so I have high hopes for this. Um, I'm kind of eyeing the Velvet Teddy one just because I do love the Velvet Teddy lipstick. It is $57, so I would want to make sure that I love the scent before, or if I were to receive it, I can obviously just go exchange it for the scent that I really love. So I just think they're so awesome. They're so cool. I don't know. I really like them. So. Yeah, that's another thing. Moving on, there's two Adidas sweatshirts that I have been eyeing. I haven't purchased them for myself, 
just because they are a little pricier and it's not something that I would wear every single day. I'm not like your super casual girl. I wear something like I'm wearing right now on a more daily basis, but these, I don't know, for like airports or days when I'm just being lazy and want to go to a movie theater, I think these are so perfect. So the first one is the, is it called Swim? Did I write this right? Swim Trefoil Hoodie. And it's $70, it's this burgundy color, it does have a hood. I saw it in store, it's so freaking beautiful. This color is just so pretty. And then of course, I also really like the original black sweatshirt with also the trefoil logo. Um, ASOS has it for, I believe, $60 or $50. I think they might have it for even cheaper. But I know Paxson had it, I've seen it at Paxson in stores. And it's super pretty, I would just want either like the black or white. More, more like the black, just because white can get dirty very easily. But yeah, I love those sweaters. Moving on, I have another pair of sunglasses that I really want. I'm telling you guys, this obsession is so real, it's kind of bad. Um, but they are the Prada sunglasses. They're the 53 millimeter round. Um, I saw these on Black Friday also. I wanted them so bad. There was two pairs that I really wanted. I got one of them on sale, and this one I still have been eyeing and wanting so bad. I think it is the one with the silver frame, and then I think it also just has like a silver like a uh, mirrored lens, but I tried it on, it looks so pretty. They are a lot pricier, this is more of an investment. Um, they were $360 and they were that much even on Black Friday when I wanted them so bad, but they're actually on sale at Nordstrom for $270. That's also a good gift idea if you wanna invest for somebody. I feel like anybody would be so grateful for something like this. And the last two things are very, very pricey. I do not expect any of these things whatsoever. They are just things that I wish I can have that, like I said, I'll probably end up buying for myself next year because they are very pricey but they do have to do with YouTube stuff and editing and filming and all the behind the scenes stuff. I've been wanting a microphone that I can actually put like on my shirt that would just give all of my videos like much better audio quality. Um, so there is a lavalier mic that you can attach to your shirt. Um, I know Makeup by Amory or Ashley um, has one and her audio quality is so freaking good. So they are pricey. They are around 500, between four and 500 dollars I've seen them. So um, eventually I will invest in one of those, but ugh, if I could just get myself one like today, that would be so awesome. And then the other thing is a new MacBook Pro computer. I do have one right now. That's what I use to edit all of my videos. I do use Final Cut Pro X. Um, but I've been using it for the past three years. I know three years isn't a long time, but it's taken a beating. I use it every single day, multiple times a day, obviously for all of my YouTube stuff and editing, hours and hours on end. So it has taken quite a beating and it still works great, but having a new one that would work so much faster and process everything faster would be so freaking amazing. But these are obviously over a thousand dollars. The one that I want probably would be between fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars. Yeah, that's actually everything for this video and my wish list. My sisters claim that I'm the hardest person to shop for. I don't believe that at all. I'm like clothes, shoes, anything like all of the trendiest stuff. I'm basic and trendy and I love all of these things so I don't even see how I'm so difficult. I feel like I'm pretty easy to shop for. But yeah, hopefully this gives you guys ideas of things you guys can put on your wish list or things that you guys can gift to other people. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys just had fun with me. Honestly, I am so grateful for what I have. I would be so happy just hanging out with my niece and nephew on Christmas and not even getting a single gift. That, I'm not exaggerating at all. Like. I am so happy when I'm with my family. Also, make sure you guys follow me on my Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. I am doing a handful of giveaways this month because I just want to give back to you guys. So I will be posting all that stuff on Snapchat. I already did one recently. So make sure you guys go follow me there. It's always listed down below. Uh, that's it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.